Alrighty, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to map your QNEO controller to the contact player. For this instance, I'm going to be using the Ong Drum, the Sonic Couture. And I'm using a map that I have uh, that utilizes this two hands mapping uh, preset from the Sonic Couture. And I have that saved on preset 8 of my QNEO. I'll go ahead and upload that to the forum as well after I finish. It just basically maps it so it kind of plays realistically like an Ong Drum would, where you have your goo noise in the center, three dings here, and noises around it, with these key switches down here, also used so you can change the tonal effects. So I'm going to go pick preset 8 there, and now we're ready to come in and map the QNEO. So I'm going to go over to the instrument mode, which is where most of the knobs are that you can uh, change up. And I'm going to go ahead and clear my settings out real quick so I can show you like what it would be like if you are going to do it from scratch. And let's check. There was one, two. Okay, these are the three I'm going to map to give an example of to show multiples. So just clear those out. Now when you open up your contact player, open up an instrument, any of these knobs that can be automated, you can check by using a right click on the instance of it and seeing if it says learn MIDI CC automation. If it does, that lets you know it can be controlled with MIDI CCs that will be sent from a controller like this one. So now, if I want to uh, map my filter, I'm going to go ahead right click on this, learn MIDI CC automation, and then on my Kineo, I'm going to put it into coma mode by holding down this circle blue button till all the lights light up like that. Let go. This will stay solid to let you know you're in coma mode. This is ready to be mapped. If I click, I click the Learn CC again, and I want to map it to this top horizontal slider. I'm going to give it a left to right swipe to let it know I want the uh, QNEO to send in its coma mode the uh, position of the slider. And that will give me a yellow LED in the center to let me know that's what it's sending, like that. So now if I verify that by right clicking on this, I can see it has mapped it because now it says remove MIDI automation, which lets me know there's something on it. Now if I click off of that, exit the coma mode by just tapping this again, and now moving the slider, you can see I can turn the filter on or off. And you can use just left and right presses, you don't have to slide the whole way through. And up here, my MIDI channel is receiving data as it should. So we'll go ahead and leave that filter on for now. I'm going to go back into coma mode and I'm going to map something else. For instance, this cutoff will give a nice effect. Give you a little bit of a audible difference in the playing of it. And which is nice because it's not quite something you could do naturally on an ong drum, but here with an effect, you can change that real time as you play with pads. I'm going to right click on it again, uh, just like I did up here. I'm going to click this Learn MIDI CC Automation again. I want to map this to the second pad, so I'm going to give it a left to right swipe, just like I did before, and it's going to give me that yellow LED. I can verify I did that correctly because it will give me this Remove MIDI Automation option. Exiting that real quick, I can show you that now I can move my filter on and off, and it will give you the value that it's at up there in the contact player. I can also use this for an interesting sort of gating effects. I'll leave that up right about there so we can hear it when I give us an example of it. And I'm going to come in and map one more thing to the QNEO, the resonance of the filter. Right click just like before, learn it, left to right swipe, and it's ready to go. I'll exit that, and I'll put my resonance up a bit like that. Alrighty, so now I have these mapped, they can give you real time control of it. And now I can play um, using these as well as controlling these. So I can also just dial in a sound and then save it. To use later. Like that. You can go through and map this on any uh, contact instrument that you have. Um, it also applies for others, but this is how you do it in contact specifically um, with that right clicking and mapping. You just have to remember that you want to have your QNEO in coma mode when you do it, so you can specify what MIDI message it will send. And then you also have to remember 
if you're using these sliders, doing a swipe on them to set a position value if that's what you want to use for these. On the pads, you can also go in and since they have X and Y uh, note value or um, maybe uh, pressure, I know, and then note value, I believe, yes, like on or off. Um, it's each of the four corners if you wanted to get into mapping that. But I like just the sliders for these sort of filters because I'm using the path to play notes. And going back to that map that I've made for it, you can see here in the two hands mode, it'll play that lowest note, which is called the goo. These three dings are the same note. And then as I move up, the notes will get higher. Like that. These key switches, you can see, on my uh, contact player over here, these red ones switch between the different uh, articulations, which you can see displayed up there. So the center sounds a bit like that. If I move to the slap, which I personally like, you can hear it's a little bit different of a timbre from the same drum. So those are something, some uh, things you can look at changing while you're playing. You can get real in, real in depth with this drum as well as other sounds uh, using the Cuneo. And it's just a simple mapping once you've got the hang of it. Uh, that's about all to go ahead and map it. I'm going to upload this map that are the preset, my, pardon me, the preset that I've made for the Cuneo. And you can just go ahead and open up your Cuneo editor if you want to use it and copy it to any unused preset that you have and that should go ahead and work just fine when you open it up in contact and pull up um, this on the performance make sure it's in two hands mode and that'll let it do that sort of realistic point where the notes change as you like spiral out from it and I just noticed here I had this uh, Ong Mark 2 Nano Pad loaded up you don't have to do that necessarily I was in the templates because I was looking at that you can just load up this regular ong drum and pick two hands and it'll work just the same. So that's just a brief little overview. Hope it was helpful and thanks for watching.